Bonjour no YouTube, Trev here, Summit or Nothing, back out in the garden today. I'm actually here, look, in the Cloud Up Free, another nature hike tent, which brings me on to today's topic. I'm going to rank the nature hike tents that I have used. Bearing in mind that I'm only ranking the models that I've used and the versions that I've used, some of them have updated versions. You can take my advice and take what I say how you like. What's my favourite tent may not be your favourite tent and vice versa. So this is just my personal experience that I've had with these tents and my personal evaluation. So if you are new to Summit or Nothing, this is the great place to come to watch hiking and wild camping adventures, cooking, gear reviews, all sorts. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. So number five will be the Cloud Up Free. Obviously for me, for a one man hiker, it's not the most ideal. It's still a great tent, but it is slightly larger in size and weight. There's loads of room. I don't think I'd use it unless I was going out with the family and with more people. This model that I've got is actually an older version as well. So it hasn't got like a window at the back and it hasn't got the additional die lines on the side to help support it. So it's not the upgraded version, but it is four limbed, freestanding, which is what I love about nature hike tents. They're all really easy to put up and they're all really spacious to use. This one's got front access as well. Sometimes, you know, having a side door on a tent gives you more room to get in and out and you can have two either side then. Uh, this one hasn't, it's just got the front room, but I mean, I've used the cloud up too with the front door access. It's never really been an issue. Obviously, being a three-man tent, it is considerably more heavy. I know some people like to use a three-man tent if they're hiking out on their own. And this one is probably one of the lighter three-man tents on the market. So maybe this would be for you. My number four choice, I think, would be a tent that I haven't got anymore. I got rid of it last year, and it was the Star River. Now... It was a two-man tent, it was slightly heavier than the Cloud Up 2, and it was slightly more spacious. The things I did like about that tent is that it had a door either side. The beauty of having a tent for two doors, you can just see right through there. So I can sit out, taking the views from either side. Not that there's much to look at at the moment. It also had like a cross member across the top to give you more headroom inside. But the things I wasn't so keen were that the version I had had a snow skirt and that was really irritating through the night. It just flapped and blowing around all night. I possibly could have sewn it up or got rid of it, somehow taped it up. But, but another thing that I found with the Star River 2 was that even in the summer it's a big old tent to warm up when you're on your own and it would be cold in there in the nights. The smaller tents tend to sort of keep the heat in uh, and easier to warm through. But you know, I had other options, so I used different tents. That tent wasn't getting used as much, so I gave it away on the channel. Not that it's a bad tent, and I'm sure whoever's got it is doing a great job in it. Another thing I love about the Nature Hike tents is that many people consider them to be an inside skin up first type of tent but they are not. They usually come with an additional floor mat that you can put the outer frame in and then you can stick the outer skin over the top of that and then hang the inside skin afterwards, giving you more options. If you really wanted and you was in summer conditions, you could take just the inside skin if you knew it's gonna be dry or just the outer skin to use as like a sort of a tarp shelter. So it, there's plenty of options with these tents. Now, my second and third choices it's going to be surprising to you i think one of them i haven't really used as much but a lot of people prefer this tent i know this is quite a favorite with a lot of people and it's the nature hike cloud peak 2 is going to be my number three it's really resilient it's got a geodesic uh, design so the poles go over each other to make it more rigid got two doors again so access either side it's a three-way door design this time so you can open the whole side up if you wanted goes all the way up and around like that 
I've wanted one for years. I managed to get one and I took it out in really strong winds last year and it, it survived the night. It got a beating, but I was dry and I stayed upright. I slept through it. However, it is a bit more of a faff to put up. The cap on the top, I need to tie down. I almost lost it. Um, it's slightly more heavy for a two-man tent and it's a little bit more pricey than other tents. Um, they're actually like gold dust. Once they sell out, then the, the prices tend to go up. It is a really good tent. It is really bomb-proof. I think it will be my winter tent more so than my summer tent. Hello, it's, it's Trevor in the hole. Look, f***ing door snagged. Down here. See this? Tent number two would be the Nature Hike Vic 1. I don't really go for one man tents, but this is nice, it's good. Maybe, yeah, maybe a bit cold being a single skin. Not quite for the winter. Now, this is an older model again. I think the newer model has more ventilation to help it breathe and create less condensation. So the Vic 1 here has these roof vents, I suppose. Push it from the inside, and then the Velcro's are meant to stick on there, and uh, the windows are meant to stay open. Let's see, there's the window. It's a little bit, whether it's enough. It does keep sort of flicking water down a bit. Condensation from the uh, roof of the tent. There's not a lot of places for it to go. So I can see it. It's proper wet. See all that? And I was worried about condensation. But no, it's bone dry in here. It's lovely. But that being said, I've been out in it several times. Last year it was my go-to tent. It's so lightweight. It's so easy to put up. Yeah, it is nice and easy to set up. It does pull drum tight, as I said. Uh, it is a one-man tent, so I have been using two-man tents, so we'll soon see if there's enough room in there for me and my gear. Once I'm in there with my roll mat and my bag beside me, I've got nowhere to go, I'm not slipping about, and it's really a fun little tent. Once again, Apart from the condensation issues, I'm really happy with this tent. I like it. Stayed up in the wind. I'd like to uh, have a look at the, the new revised version, see what they've done to make it better. I possibly wouldn't take it out in windier conditions. There's nowhere to tie additional guy ropes on the side, so it literally just sort of you peg the corners down and the door, and I think one at the back, and then you're just relying on the frame to keep you up so i'm not sure how it would perform in the wind i haven't took it out for that but if you know it's going to be nice weather and you're just a fair weather camper this little tent is fantastic i love it it's brilliant which brings me on to my number one tent i think you all knew it was going to be it's the nature hike cloud up 2. why is this tent so good i used it a lot in torrential rain, in gale force winds. Wind's picking up. You hear it howling in across, but the uh, tent's fucking about fair now. It always stood up, except for one time I took it out with Tom and it got absolutely annihilated, we both did. There is no back of my tent anymore. Right, I see the corners come out here, look. I can't believe it. Tom was in the MSR, his MSR twisted to bits. My Cloud Up 2 sprang back into place. The week after I took it out, had a look at it, put it all back up and it was fine. No poles out of shape or anything. We'll have a quick look around. Right, well again, there doesn't seem to be any rippages, any tears, but yeah, it's looking okay. I mean, this is the side that I was getting the pounding from and the whole thing was just flapping. I mean, where you would want to check 
because like places like this we're getting all the brunt of the action but it's all fine you know no tear in there at all or the other side no so because i was so happy with that tent then i went back and bought a stealthier version so i've got the the olive green version and uh it's a great tent i found out since that event with tom that just tying off one additional guy line to the rear window helps prevent that back end collapsing i took it out again since then several times in high winds one time was particularly strong winds when i went out with joss in snowdonia we camped on the side of molshabod really strong winds and that tent stayed up all night tied a bit to the window here pegged it back made all the difference when I was setting it up you saw it flattening that little bit of rope pegged out here it's held really well because there was some blustery wind last night pleased with that so that was the cloud up two was my number one tent so there you go that's my top five nature hike tents ranked hope you've enjoyed that Chase.